In addition to the new work rules, the president's plan requires all federal employees and contractors be vaccinated, as well as health care workers at facilities that receive federal money. Now, the moves are getting mixed reaction. Paula Tutman spent the day talking to Metro Detroiters. Paula, what are you hearing? Well, you better believe it's getting mixed reaction because over here you hear a loud sigh of relief from some. On the other side, you hear really extreme anger. And, and, and some of it is really about a, a mistrust of the health system as well as the government, but also what some people I've talked to today say almost a petulance because they don't want to be told what to do. The President Biden way out of COVID plan, 11 pages, six salient points, and the read is interpreted very differently depending on who you are. We talked to four different Michiganders. Dr. Ovita Fuller, an internationally renowned virologist from the University of Michigan, who also sits on the FDA vaccine advisory panel. I am grateful for the current the plan that was announced yesterday because I want us to get out of this pandemic. George Mathis, a vaccinated Northern Macomber. Does that sound like a little bit more of a dictatorship as opposed to a free world? His wife, Jennifer, who is not vaccinated. I understand what's going on. I fully understand the gravity of the situation, but I just, I'm just not there yet. And Dr. Mark Navin, a medical ethicist from Oakland University and Beaumont Hospital. It's, is it going to work? Yes. Um, but are there downsides? There certainly are. I mean, the immediate downside, as you say, is the political pushback. This is going to further polarize vaccination policy along party lines. Dr. Fuller believes if the nation buys into this plan, it is the way out of the pandemic. There are going to be outliers. There are going to be people who will not do it under any circumstances. But there are going to be a lot more people who because now every company with 100 people or more is required to have as an OSHA ruling, a lot less folks are going to say, well, I'm just going to go down the street and get a job at, at another company. But both Jennifer and George are livid that the government is, in their view, squeezing people to force them to inject anything into their bodies. Now I'd probably say, you know what, I'm going to quit. I mean, I just want to know what it's going to be like down the road. We know what these other vaccines do. We've seen them. We don't see anything from that yet. Yet vaccines have been mandated for years for any child in public school, short of a minority of opt-out options. In some states, vaccines have mostly squashed diseases like polio, measles, chickenpox, diphtheria. In the end, will this work? It's sad that you are falling back on coercion because coercion, using the government power to make people do things, Sometimes that's what you have to do, but that should be your last resort. What you should be doing first, right, is helping people understand that these are good choices to make for themselves and for their family based on sort of trusting the health institutions and the government. And so in, in that way, we have failed the people in Michigan, our communities and across the country. Yeah, so, you know, the whole thing about being part of a nation is you have rules. That's part of society. And so while some people equate this to, well, we're made to wear seatbelts, that is not invasive uh, like a vaccine. And so, like you said earlier, cue the lawsuits, but also Michigan has a variety of opt-out options that I'm sure people will start taking a look at. So will this work? It depends on how many people decide to go ahead, get the vaccine, do the masking, and, and do what's needed as opposed to fighting this. All right. Thank you, Paula.